Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The meeting of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia and the President of the National Council of Western Armenia with forcibly displaced people from Artsakh. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. Baku was armed much better than Yerevan did. Macron talked about the supplies of French weapons to Yerevan. We condemned Pakistan one sided and unfair policy, Pan Armenian Union. St. Gavor Church of Shankaratak, Artsakh, Aznavur, through the eyes of Kasparian outdoor photo exhibition in Yerevan. Let's support Western Armenia television. The meeting of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia and the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia with the forcibly displaced people from Artsakh on 20 July at the Yerevan Representative Office, a meeting was held with forcibly displaced natives from Artsakh. During the meeting, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian, the head of the Shushi Patriotic Union movement, Ashot Hayatunyan and Ashot Babanyan and others, gave a speech. In her speech, President Lydia Markosian emphasized the importance of the nativeness and united struggle of the Armenians of Western Armenia and Artsakh. She talked about the meetings that held at the UN with her and with Mr. President Armena Gabrahamian, where issues on identity, rights, and languages of Western Armenia and Artsakh were discussed. She called on the people of Artsakh to be united and to struggle for their rights. Mr. Armena Gabrahamian also presented the details of the lawsuit filed against the Baku authorities based on the complaints of Artsakh citizens and the ongoing protests at the European Court of Human Rights. During the meeting, the issues of Artsakh refugees were also discussed, and Mr. Armena Gabrahamian answered with clear arguments. On 20 July, the speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. She referred to the important events of the week. In particular, she presented the speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian, on the protection of the rights of indigenous peoples. She talked about the appeals for the protection of the rights of the native Armenians from Artsakh, who were forcibly displaced from Artsakh, which were presented earlier during the UN conferences condemning Baku for the forced displacement, atrocities, and genocidal acts against the Artsakh Armenians. The the purpose of the meeting was to allow everyone to express themselves after the signing of the contract last month and to dispel doubts if possible. She also mentioned the opening ceremony of the Office of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia in Yerevan, Office of the Republic of Western Armenia. Also, she talked about one of the important occasions that was President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosian, the President of the National Council, Mr. Armin Gabrahamian, the President of the National Assembly, Nili Harutsunyan, and the members of the parliament visited the symbolic memorial of Mother Armenia in Yerevan. The delegation paid tribute to the heroes recalling the National Liberation Movement, the heroic battles of Artsakh, in which the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, took his direct participation. Macron talked about the supplies of French weapons to Yerevan at the Fourth European Political Community Summit in London. He made a number of remarkable statements regarding Eastern Armenia, talking about the French weapons supplied to Yerevan, as well as the ongoing peace negotiation between Yerevan and Baku. It is normal to respond to the request of a sovereign country to arm itself as they may be attacked at any time by another country, said the French president. As Macron noted, Baku has armed itself much better than Eastern Armenia did in the last decade. As I remember, it is Baku that started a terrible war in 2020, said Macron. He believes that from a military point of view, cooperation with any country is a completely normal phenomenon in international practice. He believes that from a military point of view, in international practice, cooperation with any country is a completely normal phenomenon. Earlier in Paris, as a result of negotiation between the defense ministers of Eastern Armenia and France, the parties signed an agreement. Information was spread in the media that there are about 46 artillery installations. The president of Baku left for Pakistan on a working visit, whose prime minister did not bother to admit his country's complicity in the step against humanity that the Baku regime made in its statements. The prime minister of Pakistan, Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif, in a press statement with Ilham Aliyev said that Pakistan has always supported Baku's positions on Artsakh, states the statement that he has always defended the reprehensible practice of solving problems by war. He has defended all the war crimes committed in the last few decades that Baku implemented in Eastern Armenian Artsakh.
Carmen Shirvan Nahijevan emphasized that Pakistan in 2023, the ethnic cleansing of Artsakh, the 10 mile blockade of the Lachin Corridor, considers the deliberate investigation of a humanitarian disaster among the civilian population as an example of a comprehensive celebration of justice. What is this if not an open sponsorship of terrorism? The Union emphasized that by such actions, Pakistan proves that they are ready to violate both the norms and principles of international law, as well as the decisions and resolutions adopted by the International Court of Justice and other arbitrary organizations. Government Shirvan Nakhijevan Ban Armenian strongly condemns Pakistan's one-sided unfair policy and misunderstandings regarding the idea of establishing justice. St. Gevor Church is located in the northern park of Chankatak village of Martakir region. It was built in the 17th century. This is evidenced by the short inscription on the stone of the door. The church was described and the record published by Magar Barhudarians. Most of the church was destroyed during the Soviet years. Only the north wall and some volumes were preserved. St. Gevor Church was restored in 2018 according to the project of architect Valery Hayrapetian. During the restoration works, the remaining stones of the old church were used and many hatch cars were found from the area. During the restoration of church, a new altar was installed on which the record of the restoration of the church was made. According to the independent academic platform monitoring of cultural heritage of Artsakh, the current volumes of the church were not damaged during the 44-day war in 2020. However, after the full occupation of Artsakh in September 2023, the fate of the church is unknown. In Yerevan, a remarkable exhibition was held on Abovian Street dedicated to the memory of Roger Gasparian. The exhibition features exclusive photos describing the legendary French Armenian singer Charles Lanzavour, photographed by the talented photographer Roger Gasparian. Roger Gasparian, who was known for his insight, had a special relationship with Aznavour, one of the most famous figures in music and culture. The photographs on display offer a real look into Aznavour's life and career, revealing his charis, passion and the deep culture ties he maintained with Armenia. The exhibition is tribute to Kasparian's memory. The visitors had the opportunity to get acquainted with Kasparian's exceptional works that not only underline Aznavur's legacy, but also reflect the photograph's exceptional artistic vision and technical mastery. The delegation of Western Armenia was also present at the exhibition. President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, and President of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian, were also present. The music of Shah Lanzavur was played, which added depth and emotional tone to the event. National television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principle and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia with political and other contexts related to the present and the future, as well as topics that raise various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will expand and strengthen even more. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.